Well, my initial preference was Canada, and then I had a change of mind to Hawaii or Bahamas. Bahamas is okay by me. Are we ever going to Dubai? Um, I think this is a bad time to come in. No, 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 no. Stay, please. Come here. I was actually just discussing um, with your sisters concerning our yearly vacations as your father requested. Sister Kara, I was suggesting we go to Dubai, but nobody's with me. And I thought the Bahama is bay. So what's your take, Kara? I know it's okay by me, even though I'm not in the mood to go anywhere. Why not? Come here. Listen, I know that you and I have not been in good terms as a stepmom and daughter. But I want you to know that I really do care about you and your feelings. So please, feel free to make your choice. Because I honestly want you to participate. Well, I'll go with Gina. Bahama sounds like a good idea. I'm sorry for my introduction. <coughs> Greetings. What are you doing here? I came to inform you about your father's latest decision, which is asking Sabinus to live in this palace now. Hold on. Are you saying our drama teacher will be living here with us? Yes, my princess. And yet again, there is something I wanted to tell you about Osmond. The last time we went. Um, there's something I was supposed to tell you about him too. Please sit. I kind of made an agreement with him about you. An agreement? What kind of agreement? I, I actually promised him of having you if you answer my question, in which he did, so my own turn to fulfill my own part of the bargain. You understood me, right? I am still lost, my princess. What exactly are you talking about? He said he likes you and I should help him connect you to him so he will marry you. I made him that promise and please, find what? a way. My princess, I gave you my word, and I thought it meant something to you. I'm sorry, alright? I'm no longer comfortable with him around you. Is that why you asked him to leave? Do we always have to go over the reason he's here? Look, I am not happy he's here, alright? And that's how I want it. Besides, I saw the way he was touching you. Edward! Whatever I had with Osmond is in the past, and you of all people should know that. There is no way I'd allow him to touch me. So why are you telling him you're traveling when you know you're not traveling? I am not happy with him here, alright? And I cannot wait for him to get out of here. He has to leave. Sabinus told me he was moving in here. What for? I needed an errand boy. An errand boy? Really? You know for a fact that you don't need an errand boy. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. Something like what? No air pressure, you walk like that. I feel you should get here. Get soap, get air pressure, quick, hurry up. What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Don't you ever do that again, okay? I listen to me. Shh, use your voice now. Then the princess did. The princess told me nothing. You know that's a lie. All you want to disobey the princess of 
and so do kingdom. Listen, the princess is just a child. And I don't know the kind of arrangement or agreement you have with her. But it's just so foolish of you to think that I would ever agree to that. Uh, oh, yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, I think it's, it's time I report you to the king so that this nonsense will stop. Whatever. Oh. That is poor. Okay? Yes! The, the money you guys got from the last operation is very poor. What is wrong with you guys? Is Rambo there? Give him phone, I want to speak with him. And what is wrong with you guys now? You mean you can't go to any operation without me? Is that what you're saying? Uh -huh. I am still saying that the money you guys got is poor. What is the problem? Guns? Or what? You need, you need fresh supplies of guns? <laughs> I'll call you later. So what is this when they talk to me about? Pardon me for disturbing you, Your Highness. What I'm about to tell you has been disturbing me for quite some time now. Speak. It's about your Mr. Osu, your personal aide. What about him? He has been pestering me ever since he, he came into this palace. Ask him to sleep with me all the time. Are you sure about this? Yes, Your Highness. I, I know I'm not supposed to be telling you this when you have other important matters to deal with. But the harassment is becoming too much. And he said he likes you. Yes, Your Highness. But I've told him I am not interested. But still, he wouldn't give up and let me be. Your Highness, I'm not happy. It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll do something about it, okay? Thank you, Your Highness. What is the meaning of this? I saw him. He was eavesdropping on my conversation and I saw him following you around. So I grabbed him and tied him up. Is that why you tied him up like this? Mm -hmm. My queen, this guy has an evil intentions. Untie him immediately. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Not so fast. Now tell me. Tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. What are you doing for my husband here in this palace? I, I, I don't understand what you... I don't understand. Why did he bring you here? Don't, don't, don't teach the kids. Try. I don't believe you. <laughs> my queen, this, this, this guy is not genuine. I told you. Just give me the permission to waste him. Are you going to tell me the truth or do I have to let Osman carry on with his threat? No, no. No, my queen, please. Don't hurt me. I have a sick mother to take care of, please. Well, speak then. Okay, I will. See, my queen, I am working in the king's order. Yes. 
He said I should monitor you and report to him. Yes. He, he wants to be sure that you're not cheating on him. That's why you're here. That's why. Can I go down? What? I need to go. I received a complaint from the chief mate that you are making passes at her ever since you came to this palace. Yes, you told me. Yo, hi, sir. Are we really having this conversation? Allow me to express my deepest disappointment by your actions. What stopped you from telling me that you have feelings for my chief mate instead of harassing her? I. I didn't deem it necessary considering. I am the king of this palace. I am in charge of everyone and everything in it. And I should be told of everything. There's nothing wrong with having feelings for my chief mate. I mean, she's quite good looking. But the fact that you didn't tell me, I find that very insulting. Oh, my king gone. About that, I am very sorry. Apology accepted. However, I will allow you to marry her instead of harassing her life. No, no, I've spoken. Wow, oh, wow, wow. I didn't see this coming at. Um, your highness, can I see? Just come in, it's open. This is my princess. What is this? Staying away from me for some time now. What is it? Why did you tell him? You don't understand. Why did you tell your dad about me and Osmond? I didn't tell my father anything. Well, your father has made the decision for me to marry that man, Osmond. Really? Yes. Isn't yeah, that exactly what I wanted? But I don't want him. I don't. Don't you just understand that I don't love him. I don't even want anything to do with that man. I... I'm sorry, my princess. I'm sorry for shouting. But I don't want that man. I don't want him. I, w I would rather leave this palace. I'll talk to my father. Well, what do you think? Just please, please. Talk to him. Talk to him. I don't want to marry that man. I don't want him. I'd rather leave this palace than marrying that man. So, Sabine, can you vote for me? Your Highness, you deceived me, and I'm not happy about that. What are you talking about? I thought we had an agreement on the chief maid. I told you I want her. Yes. I remember that. Well, I'm sorry I changed my mind. You changed your mind? Your Highness, you brought me to this palace to monitor your wife and your aid. I asked you what to get in return. You told me to name anything. You're going I to grant it to me. Remember what I said. Which is why I'm saying sorry to disappoint you. But you can ask for anything else and I'll grant it. Your Highness, she's the one I want. She's the one. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, excuse me. I want to take my leave. I 
I know what you did. And I know I was the reason you did that, so admit it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please, Edward, don't give me that. Since when did you determine who marries the chief mate? A commoner. She works in this palace, doesn't she? Yeah, right. The only reason you did that was to make sure Osmond was occupied. Why are you this insecure? <laughs> I'm not insecure, all right? Besides, he does need to channel his focus off you to the chief mate. All right? That's how I want it, and I'm not sorry about it. You're not sorry about the fact that you're forcing a husband on a poor maid? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying she's mature enough to get married. All right? In fact, more than mature. Besides, this way, he can get his eyes off you. Oh, so you think he still has his eyes on me? That's why you brought Sabino's, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't worry about it. Sabino's already told me everything. You're too jealous for my liking. And you better not impose a husband on that poor girl. You know, sometimes I wonder what the heck I'm doing in this marriage. A marriage where there's no trust. If not for one thing. If not for what? Go on, say it! He's going to come in between you and your husband. Mark my words. So what do you want me to do? You know the reason I allowed him here. Why did you call off the hate on his head? I almost succeeded in ending everything about Osmond. But you couldn't agree with that. Can I ask you a question, Cecil? Do you still have feelings for Osmond? How dare you? You're talking to a queen. I am sorry, but we're, we're having siblings conversation here. You shouldn't attach your position to it. Well, I have no iota of feelings for Osmond. And please, let's drop this conversation. You have every chance to end it now. I can make that happen. Just allow me to help you. What I want you to do is to find a way of permanently burying whatever information Osmond has on me and my husband. Only his death will solve that problem. Osmond has friends and he's smart. How sure are you that the information he has on me will not be leaked upon his death? Huh? What he should be doing for me is looking out for close friends of his that he can easily confide in. That's what he should be doing. Ah, okay. How are you? <laughs> Listen to me. I don't know how you managed to live in this family. I don't care, but what I will not take is you marry my woman. And who is your woman? Chum, of course. Listen to me. Chioma is the reason I came to this palace. I will not allow anybody to take her away from me, not even you! Now listen to me, I get whatever I want, and not even the king will stop me, or anybody. Let me go. See? Leave me in. Come on. So she leave me. Now this is the last time you will confront me concerning this matter, because I will be the one to decide whether to make her my wife, or to dump her for you. Oh! Did you just say dump? Please dump her for me. Dump her. Just leave me. Just dump her. Dump her. Now I love her so much. Dump her for me. Dump. Okay. So you know how to beg? Of course I know. In Joma's case, I can beg. I want you to run inside like the dog you are. And then I will consider whether to dump her for you or not. Mm. Get up! I'm surprised to hear this from you, a person that always starts up conversations during meals. All right, that's enough. All right? Everyone continue eating. And nobody say anything unless you have something reasonable to say. Well, 
I do have something reasonable to say, Dad. Just when I thought we're gonna have some piss and quiet. Say what you want to say. Why did you cancel the commemoration ceremony without telling me about it? And who said I did? Just tell me the truth, Dad, because I see no reason the drama teacher is still living with us since the drama is no longer holding. What's he doing here? Well, let's just say the people are unhappy, all right? But the drama is going to hold, okay? Mm? I mean, why don't you just cancel the whole thing since it's pointless to the people? I mean, you've always done what the people want, so why don't you scrap it? I'm sure my late mom will understand. I also heard that the chief maid is getting married. Really? Please, I want to be left alone. Please. I want you to do something for me. Leave the palace. What? I should leave this palace? Yes. Since the king is hell-bent on giving you away to a man you don't love, you don't have any feelings for, you should leave the palace. Then, I promise to marry you. Well, thanks for your suggestion. But I am not interested. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Meaning you have accepted to marry the man? I haven't said that. But that's what it means. Well, yes. Staying back means you've accepted to marry him. He is a dangerous man. Is this what you want? What I want is to be left alone. What I want is to continue working in this palace as a maid without being forced into any relationship or marriage. Just let me be. I want you to know this. I will stop at nothing to have you as my wife. Nobody will take you away from me. Let's sneak out of the palace or ask that man that does nothing to leave. No, that's not the best way to handle this. I'm. This is all my fault. I and I so much regret it. I shouldn't have offered her to him without her consent. But we were only trying to get information. Honestly, I messed up. I understand, but I want you to know that we're with you on this hundred percent. I think we should talk to Dad about this and see what he can do. Yes, come in. Um, you said for me. Yes, I do. You know, I have been thinking seriously about um, the marriage proposal. And I have also discovered the vanity of marrying someone who doesn't have any feelings for you. You want to let her go for me? Uh, not, not exactly. Uh, but I might just let her go. Only if you would meet some certain needs of mine. Talk to me. What do you want? It is not just what I want. I need you to give me an assurance that you will do exactly what I ask of you. I am ready. Good. Good, because that is the only way I would let her go for you. Else, I will just carry on with the marriage plans as the king has proposed. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that, do you? Oh, no, of course. Oh, that means we have an agreement. <laughs> <laughs>
king is in trouble. The king is in trouble. You stay. You stay. Where's Williams? He's at the backyard. Let's go. What's the meaning of this? Murderer! What's going on here? Your Highness, we caught him here with a knife trying to kill you. As a matter of fact, he almost succeeded if we had not come earlier. No, I came to drop the knife. You set me up! Samuels, Your Highness. You! I don't believe this. Your Highness, I know you want this to be a lie, but it is true. And I must advise that you watch your back now that the enemy has entered the palace. No, 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 you Hermes, I can't, I can't to give you a knife. You set me up? Seize him and take him out now! That is not... Take, take him out! Your, your is your knife. Your Hermes is your knife. I came I can't to give... I, 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 Let me take him out. Your Highness, you need to watch. Your back. You did this to me. You should not trust him at all. He is evil. I, 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 ah! Let the gods be the judge. The world is worse. No, it's more than blood. like you had any feelings for him. I mean, he got what he deserved. Why did you set him up? Because you're so evil! <sighs> no. You are the thing evil. I mean, for serving as an inspiration to evil, you are the very thing evil. I would never, ever give you my body. No, 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 darling. It was really never about you. I mean, he, he was beginning to pose threat to my other agenda in this palace, so I decided to get rid of him. What other agenda could you possibly have if not to get me naked? I would love that. In fact, I would never ask you of all. I would never ask you of that again. But you see, very soon, you will be the one begging to be mine. Yes. So, um, I'd like to concentrate for now on my other agenda in this palace. Hmm. So, what are you not telling me? You want to know? I'm going to call a meeting of the elders tomorrow. I'm going to tell them the truth. What truth? 
I have made my decision and that's final. What truth are you talking about? The truth about what we've been hiding all these years. I'm going to tell them everything. Because I can't wait to personally do with Osmond after that. And what about the consequences? Are you willing to face them? Oh yes, I am, my dear. You see, I'm tired of the lies and the pretense. I'm tired of all of it. I mean, who would think that Sabinus wants to murder me if someone put him up to it? So are you saying that you believe that Sabinus didn't act on his own? My queen, please don't tell me you don't think that was a setup. You know what? Go ahead, Edward. I am done pleading with you. Why don't you tell everybody, tell the whole world, and see if this family will still be the same. Go ahead. There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. You're right on time, my queen. Do you have be careful, Smith? That was you, wasn't it? I don't understand. What are you talking about? You set that man up, and I need you to admit to it. I don't understand what you're talking about. He made an attempt on the king's life. You and I know he didn't deliberately do that. You must have made him a promise and somehow coerced him to doing it, didn't you? Stop! I mean, what's all this? What's all this accusation about? Besides, it's time. Time for what? Time to take out your husband. I mean, that's the reason I'm here, right? Not the uh, chief mate like everyone now believes. Are you drunk? Oh, I wish I was drunk. So, tell me, my love, how do you want me to take out your husband? Strangle him? Shoot him? Mom and Dad show you us an apology once we get to the Bahamas for that vacation. Well, I think the most important thing is that the vacation is happening. And I'm going to confront Dad about anything, so as not to sway his mind. We have a lot to talk about in Bahamas. I was considering we remain there instead of coming back here again. But Dad has a kingdom to rule. Then let him resign. We need our family back together again. Listen to me, Martins. Osmond made a threat on my husband's life, and I'm no longer comfortable in having him here. Look, this is not a time for a debate or a squabble, okay? I want you to do whatever it takes to end him. Get rid of him. Okay, well, I'm sorry for not allowing you to do what... Martins, are you listening to me? I said he made a threat on my husband's life. Hello? 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 Hello, Martins, are you listening to me? Hello? Hello? Oh, God. But now he doesn't want to talk about it. There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. So much to dread. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. So much to see. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. Come on, who will build the palace? Who will win the sword? I say, who will build the gods? Who will rule the world? For the land is true. And it's a palace confusion. I call it a royal confusion. There is so much to see. Oh, and there is so much hatred. Who can fulfill the task? Who will win the search? Oh, who will rule the world? 
Must be uh... well, considering that you're not wearing the same uniform with the other maidens, you must be a special kind of maiden. That still doesn't answer my question. You must be the chief maid, but I still hold a higher position than you, so I believe greetings should be in order. I still don't get it. I still don't know who you are. So I'll ask again. Who are you? Well, I am the king's aide. The new aide to the king. Oh, I see. Oh, well. Is there something you want? Because nobody is allowed into this kitchen except me and the maidens. Oh, rules. Well, I... I'm just trying to... I was just dropping by to know my new environment. By the way, you're... You're pretty, I believe. Maybe you've not been hearing it often from reputable men with good positions. If you have uh, nothing to collect from here, please leave. I am um, yet to be informed about your presence in this palace. Well, I'm not done with my... Checking up. Yeah, well, I did some digging. And what did you find? I found, um, I found out that the man is a friend to the Queen's brother. You mean Martins? Yes. And I also gathered that they're not in a good time right now. That is why it's a little bit odd for Martin to allow him stay here. You're right. I've always known that there's nothing genuine about that man. Well, my love, if you want me to get rid of him, I will do it for you. Just give the order and consider it done. <sighs> Oh well, he's been making passes at me lately. Then consider him handled. What are you going to do to him? Take your face cap off. I should what? You are before king. And the last time I checked, you didn't hold any position in the palace, so take your face cap off. But, but I would soon hold the position, so why are you insisting I take my cap off? Do you want me to call the guards and have them arrest you for insolence? Please, can we continue with this discussion and stop this childish show of power? It doesn't suit you. I am not doing this with him. Please, Let's ignore his character and continue with the discussion. Osmond, please continue. I believe you've told him what I want, but uh, made my demands clear. I, I'd like to remind you, Your Highness, that... Um, After much thought of your demands, I have decided that I'm going to make you my personal driver. A driver? Yes. No. No what? I, mean, I refuse to be used as an ordinary driver. Now you listen to me, boy king. I deserve a seat in your administration, a, a recognizable position. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? 
I'm talking about being your right hand man on the throne something like um, yes a personal advisor to you is this a joke is this is this what you brought me to discuss really a joke I'm sorry, my princess. You failed me. I know, and I'm sorry. You couldn't do the simple thing I asked of you. I'm trying my best. But so far, I've got nothing, my princess. I even wanted to leave the palace. But you went ahead and told my dad about it. Why are we still having this conversation? Because I had the king telling his wife how he wants that man dead. Are you saying my dad wants that new man dead? Yes. Why? I don't know yet. That is why I haven't reached out to you, my princess. But why leave the palace when you can stay and unravel the truth of who that man really is? Hi. Get out of my sight. And why would I do that? I mean, you don't deserve to be alone, especially after losing your boyfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Think I was dumb not to notice the love in your eyes? By the way, were you the one who sent him to kill me? Please. Get out of my sight. Oh, come on, Chi. I know how heartbreaking it can be, especially the fact that he didn't succeed. See, I am a cat with nine lives. And you, you're fine, you're beautiful. We can really be good friends in this palace. Who told you my name? Come on, I am the king's aide. I get whatever I want, including information any information well mr information minister how about you give me the information of who you really are and what you are doing in this palace maybe just maybe i will consider your friendship proposal but until then stay away from me You come back to me. What? How did you get in here? Of course, through the door. I remember I locked it after entering, so how did you enter? Can we just discuss that another time, okay? Oh, by the way, you have... Uh, Stop! Don't touch me! What do you want? Well, I... <clears throat> I kind of reconsidered the offer. Which offer? You know, the one about me telling you who I am and then in turn you give me the access to all of this. Who are you? You see, we've not really had an understanding yet. We 
You know, the author need to reaffirm her promise to me, the authoree, before I spill the beans. Well, I am not interested. You see, that there makes this hard. Very hard. Ask for something else. I will oblige you. But I will not give you my body. <laughs> That's the problem. Why are you even keeping it for? Who? The guy that made a tent on my life? He's already dead. Oh, okay. You're hoping that he will, he's going to come back to this palace for you. It is <laughs> he's dead. Get out of my room. Yes. Okay, how about a kiss? Just a kiss and I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> that look is what I was expecting. You can't say no, can you? <laughs> Get out! Get out! Go, go! go. Oh, come on! I go, go, go! Push me! Get out! So you do. It's like a virus. Come in. My princess, there's something I have to tell I you. I already know. I, I don't think he you... He told me he's my mother's brother. And I... Forgive me, my princess. But I think I... You know what? Just forget about him. No one knows the kind of father I have. And I'll never forgive him for hiding such a thing from me. No, my princess. Please, I just need to be left alone. You. What did you tell Princess Kara? Oh. Wow. I think I like kissing more than any other thing. How dare you? Look, the next time you try that again, I'll be forced to report you to the king. What's wrong with you? The king? Oh, you wait until I tell the king my intentions towards you. Oh, do you prefer public proposal or private one? Why? Why did you tell Princess Kara a different thing from what you told me? Why did you lie to her? Hmm. I forgot that you have been long enough in this palace to know how it is built. My bad. There is something I wanted to tell you about Cosmo the last time we went. Um, there is something I was supposed to tell you about him too. Please sit. I kind of made an agreement with him about you. An agreement? What kind of agreement? Uh, I actually promised him of having you if you answer my question, in which he did, so my own turn to fulfill my own part of the bargain. You understood me, right? I am still lost, my princess. What exactly are you talking about? He said he likes you and I should help him connect you to him so he will marry you. I made him that promise. And please, find me. What? Ways. My princess. Get so, get in touch now. Quick, hurry up. What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Don't you ever do that again, okay? Are you listening to me? Shh, use your voice now. Then the princess did. The princess told me nothing. You know that's a lie. Or you want to disobey the princess of Kingdom. Listen, the princess is just a child. 
And I don't know the kind of arrangement or agreement you have with her. But it's just so foolish of you to think that I would ever agree to that. Uh, oh, yes. Really? Yes. That's what <laughs> Okay, I think it's it's time I report you to the king so that this nonsense will stop. Once and for all. I was so surprised when he said He's actually not interested in you. So what does he want then? That's the problem. He said there is something he wants so much more than me. But he fails to mention it. That's why I came to you, my queen. My queen, I think that man has evil intention with his palace. He didn't say anything else to you? Nothing else. She said. Okay, it's um, it's fine. I'll have a word with that man. Okay, and um, please don't discuss this with any other person. Okay. Are you listening to me? Yes, my queen. Yes, because I don't want to create any panic in this palace. Whatever it is that man came here for, I'll handle it. Okay. I've heard you, my queen. Thank you so much. Look at who we have here, the highly exalted queen of his other kingdom in flesh and blood. You know, Edward has done a great job on your sweet buddy, honey. You will not address my husband, the king, by his first name. <laughs> I should call him the king. <laughs> that, that's so ridiculous. As long as you asked for placement, don't waste your time. You know, my, 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 please have a seat. I'll rather uh, stand. What is it? Look, I should get you a drink, something to Osmond, chill. Osmond, spew out the amount, and I'll have my husband write another check for you. You think this is about money? Oh, yes, it is. And it has always been. Well, this time around, you're wrong. I know you will not like what I'm about to say, but um, I have decided on it, and that's exactly what I want. You set that man up, and I need you to admit to it. I don't understand what you're talking about. He made an attempt on the king's life. You and I know he didn't deliberately do that. You must have made him a promise, and somehow coerced him to doing it, didn't you? Stop! I mean, what's all this? What's all this accusation about? Besides, it's time. Time for what? Time to take out your husband. I mean, that's the reason I'm here, right? Not the chief maid like everyone now believes. Are you drunk? Oh, I wish I was drunk. So, tell me, my love, how do you want me to take out your husband? Strangle him. Shoot him. What? What are you looking at?
I'm sorry. About what? About discouraging you from eliminating Osmond. I think he deserves to die. Why the change of heart? I mean, why would you say that? Because I just confirmed that he was behind the attempted assassination made by Sabinos. Osmond is going for the kill. And we can't allow him to get away with it. So you're asking me to murder him in front of my children? No, is that it? I'm not asking you to murder him in front of your children. I'm only asking you to be ready in case he makes an open confrontation. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound like I walk around with a revolver or a magnum tied to my waist, all right? What I have is a pop action. I can't be carrying that around the palace. Edward, I'm only asking you to watch your back. There are other ways we can use in silence in him. Okay, so let's think of a way to eliminate him without people looking for him. Okay. How about kidnap? Kidnap? That's against the law. Although, since your life is involved. What is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Why is he on my throne and why is have my crown on his head? Am I not talking to human beings? Answer me! Will you shut up? Your time is past, Edward. And it's now my time to rule my people. How dare you? What is it? God, it's a dream. What's the problem? Thank God it was a dream. A dream? More like a nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? It's Osmond. You tried to kill me. You're right. We have to eliminate him. No disrespect, but what about your brother? Can't we talk to him about this? I mean, he's the best person to handle the situation. No, my brother doesn't deal with these things any longer. He bolted away. But I'll try to persuade him further. There's actually a smart move we can make. What move? But it's going to get him arrested. Although, it would not be lent to us. Do it. We have to explore any option. I mean, Osman has to go. God, my head hurts. Can I cuddle you? Sleep. I just had a nightmare. Okay, fine. Hold on. Are you saying my stepmom is involved in all this? Yes, my princess. The man emphatically told me that he is here because of her. Then I guess my dad doesn't know anything about this. Could his life be in danger? I don't know, my princess. But I spoke to the queen about it and she told me she would handle it. Which I doubt. I'm going to tell my dad about all this and the kind of wife he has. Please do. But, my princess, don't involve me. I still want to stay in this palace. Don't you think I know that? I'm not involving you. 
Thanks for the information, and by the way, even though it took you a lot of time to tell me. I'm sorry, my princess. I've been trying to tell you about this for quite some time now, but you couldn't give me audience. Thanks. You're welcome, my princess. Jay sit on my father's throne. Apologies, Princess. It's just as I find this seat more comfortable than any other seat here. I'm going to tell my father about this. What is the meaning of this? How dare you sit on my throat? You reduce your voice. I should reduce my voice. Guards! Guards! I already sent them on an errand for the king. You did what? Please sit. Let's talk. Sit down. Let's talk about how you're going to give me everything that you have, come hell or high waters. Because I am here to take everything that belongs to you, including that very woman you took from me. Else, I'll stop talking. How do you get? Come down! Come down and draw your weapon! Come down and draw your weapon! If you move, if you move, you die! Draw your weapon! Ask your hand! Ask on your head! What's that you have them? Yes, sir! Okay, bring them to the vehicle! Move! 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 You're going behind bars. You're going behind bars. Including your boss. Including your boss. All of you behind bars. I called you all out here to give you some information about the kingship of this land. Being a king has changed me both positively and negatively. And it seems the latter is more profound than the former. Which is why I'm stepping down as king. Yes. Being a king has distanced me so much from my family. I don't give them the attention they deserve. I seem a lost and a failed father. And I want to correct that. I want my children to be proud of me. Be proud of where they come from. I'm sorry if this has come as a shock to you. But I need to inform my in-house people before I call the elders of this land so that you can know what's coming. If any of you wants to leave, now is the time to do so. I can't believe Dad said he's resigning. I mean, that's gross. Isn't that what you wanted? You said it's best if he resigns. But not like this. I mean, I didn't want him to resign from being king. That's preposterous. I don't see anything wrong with Dad's decision. Everything is wrong with Dad's decision. 
I mean, the man I knew as my father would never abandon his stool of power, which is his responsibility. We are his responsibility, and so are our people. I'm glad we're on the same page, Kara. I mean, I can't imagine not being a princess anymore. It's so unfair. Dad should revisit that decision of his immediately. I'll talk to him. Or, I think the Queen is talking to him. Because I don't think she's in support of that decision. What did you do? What? There's something I should have done the moment that bastard walked into this palace. I've dreamt so many times of killing him, but I just don't want any other blood on my hands. So you're going to vacate your throne? For who? For him or anybody else, I really don't care. I can't believe this is happening. Do you want him to go and tell the truth? He came threatening me to tell the truth if I don't vacate the throne for him. Edward, our people will be so disappointed in you. And you and I know they'll never accept Osmond being on that throne. Well, I'll leave it for them to decide after you and I have left the country with the kids. Alright, I think life will be more peaceful over there than here. So you want us to abandon everything? Edward, you've always dreamt of ruling your people. What do you want me to do? Alright, you want him to go and tell the truth and watch him tear your family apart? Is that what you want? Hello? Hello, Martins. Yes? What? Okay, I'll get back to you. What was that? What did he say? He just helped apprehend Osmond's gang. And they're willing to come here and get him arrested. You see, yes. Edward, there's a way out of this. And he's going to be labeled a criminal. We can't run away. Hello, Martins. How far away are you with the police? Yes, the worst has happened. My husband is about handing over his kinship to that lunatic, and he's about to call for an elders' meeting. Okay, I'm calmed. Okay, I'm calmed. I'm just going to be waiting for you, but make sure you're not here when it's already too late. Your favorite. Okay, so leave it here and go. My queen, is everything all right? Everything's be all right. I'm about to be stripped off my queenship. God! 
I don't understand your girls. I thought you three were unhappy with me since I became king. Like, I haven't been treating your girls right, isn't it? Yes, and we've been complaining about it. We don't want you to resign. Please, Dad, just step down from that throne. Our people still need you. Yeah, but someone else can sit on the throne and still rule. It doesn't have to be me. But it's your right to rule. I mean, it's your turn. And to be an unfair thing for you to abandon that gracious and enviable position. I don't know what you girls want me to do. It's like being king makes me less of a father to you and an official husband. I think you're cheating on my mom. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just saying that being king doesn't give her the time she deserves as my wife or the time you three deserve as my kids. Besides, I'm not going to choose power over family. Family means everything to me. We understand you, Dad. But there has to be some way we can fix whatever is broken in your relationship with us instead of stepping down as king. It's unacceptable, Dad. Really unacceptable. I would like to work here forever. Is that your destiny? What do you mean by that? This is enough but, enjoyment. I know, maybe that's your calling now. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy and work here forever. I'm looking for a greener pasture. This is your business. <laughs> what, 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 what's wrong with you? I'm okay. Hmm. Then I'll rent your face now. I think you're afraid to die on the same day. Did you do this? You, you're joking, isn't it? Don't ask me stupid questions. Answer me! For what reason will I snuff out their lives? Hey, you don't shout at the king. I need answers. Your Majesty, we found them both dead while holding fruits in their hands. I think they were actually enjoying the bowl of fruits before they died. Hold on. Did you just say a bowl of fruits? Yes, Your Majesty. Where is Choma? Where is that murderer? And, and where, where do you think, think you're going? I'm so disappointed in you. 
Why did you want to kill the queen? Answer him before I strangle you. Okay. Let her speak. Speak! Why did you want to kill the queen? She did nothing to me. Then why in the name of our gods did you want her dead? I can't believe I trusted you with my kids. What did I ever do to you to deserve this? I have shown you nothing but kindness ever since I came into this palace. Ask the senior maiden. And you decided to take my life as a price? I, 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 I don't have any grudges with you, my queen, but with the king. Me? Yes. I've been in this palace as a child. I served under your late father until you took over the throne and was ready to get married. You sent for me, my king. Yes, I did. I want to personally thank you for all your efforts in taking care of my father before he died. I really appreciate you greatly. I was only doing my job, my king. But I'm grateful. Always so humble. That's why I like you. Thank you. Well, my people have asked me to get married, saying that a king cannot rule by himself. And I agree with them. So I'm working towards getting a bride. Wow. That's wonderful. I can't wait for you to... To... To what? Um, I can't wait for you to get your bride, I mean, my king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not going to be easy. I mean, considering the fact that I'm a very private and shy person. I know you possess the wisdom of your late father. So, I trust you to make the right choice. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, uh, that's not why I called you. I want to help you further your education. And I'd like you to resign here as the chief mate so I can help you. Who knows? Maybe you can find a young man that will marry you after you're done. So, what do you say to that? <laughs> Thank you, my king. I had to kill her. I had to kill her to get back at you. I had to kill her to make you change your mind about me. Oh, my king, you disappointed me. You disappointed me when you went and got yourself another wife. You, you killed my mother. I'm sorry, my princess. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> To think I almost considered marrying you a murderer? What a fool I would have been. You killed her! Yes, I did. I killed her out of anger. I just I just wanted it to look at my face. So, why did it take you this long to make an attempt on my life? Oh, I made several attempts on you. You just lucky not to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. So I gave up. I almost left the palace out of frustration and anger and disappointment. But I decided to stay back, hoping, just hoping that one day, someday you would just look at me and see how I feel about you, how I so much want to be your wife. But you, you didn't. You, you came as a distraction. I tried getting rid of you severally, but I couldn't. And then the king said he's stepping down from the throne. And you, if that happens, you'll be of no use to me. I had to try and kill the queen because that's the only thing that will make him change his mind. Shoma, you are evil. 
You are evil! Hey, is, let me strangle her for you. Sorry, my king. Everything, everything I did, my love for you is, is genuine. Is hey, I don't know what you've done to me. Any idea what you've done? Sorry. I'm sorry. Just forgive me, my. I've got to make sure you spend the rest of your life in jail. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, please. This is my kid. Get her out please. of my sight. Get her out. Get her out of my sight. Don't get me out. Don't get me I greet you, elders of the Zodo Kingdom. My king will be you. Greet you. Are you good? I have summoned you today because I've made a decision. I believe it's my right to do so. It's about my kingship. I will step down as king of the what? kingdom. No. It is not acceptable, my king. It is not done. Eh? It is a sacrilege. You cannot do a thing like that. Hmm? I don't believe you. But let me ask you this. Tell us the truth. What is the matter? What happened? Let's just say I want to devote more time to my family and the masters of the throne. Like I said, I believe that I have the right to step down as king whenever I deem fit. That's Your true. Highness. That's why I said no. You cannot, Your Highness. This is what we call traditional aberration. It is a sacrilege against the kingdom. <laughs> There's no way a king steps down that way. At where? Remember that you inherited this throne from your late father just because you are his only son. Now, tell me, if you step down like that, as your mind is leading you now, who again in your bloodline will mark the throne? Okay. No one! Or do you want to lose this age long throne? Lose it totally from your family. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I've made my decision. I want to spend more time with my family now. Hey, Your Highness. Mm. You are disappointing me. Even the, yes, you are. Even the entire elders. Ah! You could not even pre inform me about this, your decision? Do you all know of this community? Of this great kingdom? Oh. Oh. Mm. Your Highness, you cannot step down like that. Yes, it is you not can't. Happen. Listen, let us make an arrangement for you to continue ruling us from wherever you want to remain with your children. Yes. Please. It's a better option. option. It's a better huh? option. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I made my decision. Uh, uh, Your Highness, why don't you go ahead and tell them uh, who you have in mind to help you run I things? believe it's the duty of the elders to ask me who I think should succeed. And don't you think so? My king, that we have not decided yet. Your Highness, you can't just resign. You are a king and a king as long as you live. What is happening? What is going on there? Is this a setup or what? <coughs> Officer, that is the imposter. What? You are under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and kidnapping. <laughs> My boys have your gang members outside the gate, so you have to come with me now. <laughs> Uh, what, is the, what is the meaning of this? It is very simple, Osmond. He is trying to tell you that you are not just a kidnapper, but an armed robber and a murderer. Mm. Summarily, you are a criminal. What is happening in the kingdom? What is happening now? Huh? You did this. And you, this is how we want to play it. No, this is how you want to play it, isn't it? Uh, uh, Osmond, what are you talking about? Osmond, shut up and move. My friend. Move it! What? What are all these dramas about? Elders of the Kingdom, I want to confess. 
Osman. I want to confess. You will confess nothing. You're already under arrest. Take him away. I have something very important that I, I must say. I have no. You must talk. Allow him to. Talk. No, 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 no. Please. Allow him say whatever nonsense he has in his mouth. Mm -hmm. He is always talking. Allow him say. Good. Eh? You cannot shave someone's head in his absence. Say something. Go ahead and tell us all. Go on. Thank you. I want to tell you what these two people, who they truly are, these two people that sit down as the king and queen of this kingdom, especially what they did to me. Osman, you don't have to do this. Of course I have to. I have to tell it. You want some? Drink? You really should stop this drinking and smoking habit of yours. I find it very irritating. And besides, it's very bad for your health. I know, but um, that's what keeps me going. Do I hope to stop it sometimes in the future? <laughs> By the way, I'll be passing out next week. Passing out? To where? How? Passing out my NYSE. I've completed my first year. Are you serious? Wow, why? How time flies. I, yes. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. Can't wait to, to follow you to your people and make my intentions formally known to them. Hmm. Intentions? What intentions are you talking about? Intentions of marrying you? Mm. Me. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I know you're joking, right? <laughs> you're joking. Wait, you know, call it whatever you want to call it, but do you actually think that I would want to marry a drunk and a chain smoker like you? <clears throat> you're joking. And if you're not joking, I, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, please stop it. I don't like that. I made myself clear. Leave. You jo of course she's joking. She... <laughs> no, you're... She... This is one of those pranks, right? Of course it had to be, eh? Did he threaten you or what? Yes, and I'm so scared for my life right now. I need to reach out to my people. What the hell does he even do? Well, he told me he sells tires. But I hate his drinking and smoking so bad. I warned him about it severely, but he just wouldn't listen. And you say he's the one that's been sponsoring your schooling? Mm-hmm. I mean, my parents stopped when I was in my second year at the university and then he's been providing for me ever since but he never told me about his intentions to want to marry me until now but I don't love him I don't love him enough to want to marry okay, him okay, okay. all right just don't worry about it he has to go he's gonna leave you alone okay that's what I told him but instead he decided to threaten to deal with me what are you doing here Is he the one? Is he the reason you have been acting up? Yes, I am. I wasn't talking to you, boy. Yes, you were talking to me. I'm her man and you need to stop threatening her. You don't know me well enough to talk to me, boy. Now, you first of all, I am not a boy. I am a prince. I'm the future king of the Zoro Kingdom. But I'll help you. Tell me exactly how much you spent on her and I'll pay you right here and right now. Oh, come on, Edward. It hasn't gotten to that. Yes, it has. He needs to get his money so he can get the hell out of here. You know you cost this. You... You brought this humiliation on me. You! But I will deal with you later. And to remind you, you are mine. Mine you shall remain. <laughs> and for you, boy, I don't have time to banty words with spoiled witch kid like you. But I need to tell you something though. 
stay away from my girl else <laughs> i will come after you it's i that will come after you hear me you stay away from her the next time i see him i'm going to, going to murder him you okay left the vicinity I don't know how she she covered it and they managed the situation without involving the police but one thing one thing is for sure that that experience changed my life everything turned bad for me my business crumbled and I had no means of surviving but to form a group of an armed robber just to survive i'm sorry kids you couldn't have found out the truth if your your parents have kept to our agreement and left the throne for me and now i can come back to just take back my woman i came to take his throne your highness is it true what he has said hmm? Yes. Huh? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Mm. Everything he said is true. The truth is inevitable. I couldn't finish my NYSC. So I ran back here and reconnected with Rosalind. Mother of Kara. Hey! I'm so sorry. So the story of you doing your NYC with her is a lie. Yes. I'm so sorry. I never wanted any of this to happen. I saw I married her. She introduced me to Martin. Who who was trying to kill me for what I'd done to their brother? I apologize to him. He knew it was a mistake. And we agreed to keep it a secret. The only other person who knew about this was Osmond. And ever since, he's made my life a living hell. I moved him into this palace so he can keep his mouth shut, but he threatened to speak if I don't relinquish the throne for him. Mm. And now here we are. Tara, Gina, Lucy. I'm so sorry. 
Please forgive me. Hey! Great sacrilege. It is now very clear to us and the entire kingdom that the kingdom business is a very serious business. It should not be left in the hands of small boys. It is not clear to us that you have actually desecrated the sacred sanctity of his other kingdom. Huh? So what is why a murderer had been seated on the throne of our kingdom? Abomination. And you, you are going. An accomplice. Sorry. Yeah. We're so sorry. Please forgive us. Please. Is that for us or for the ghost of the night? We're really sorry. Leave her. Let her be sorry for herself. Kids, we're so sorry. Now, move! Sorry. 